We present Volume Preserving Simulation of Soft Tissue with Skin by Seung Hun Shin, Igor Larionov, and Dinesh K. Pai of University of British Columbia. Volume preservation is an important feature in simulation of biological tissue. However, current methods in computer graphics either lose significant volume under deformation, or with a high Poisson's ratio, they lead to locking. On the other hand, our method completely preserves volume without locking. Compare these three results side by side. The color scheme shows the volume change per tet. Notice the realistic bulging that our method produces when compared to the other methods. For a simple demonstration of the concept of locking, take a look at this 2D example, where each triangle are incompressible and the bottom vertices are fixed. If you apply a downward force to the top middle vertex, one would expect the top vertex to be able to be pushed inwards. But due to the incompressible triangles, the only possible modes of deformation is restricted to the horizontal directions. Like in this example, enforcing element-wise incompressibility can result in inaccurate solutions. We solve this problem of locking in the following way. Instead of constraining the volumes of each element, we decouple volume preservation from TETs to constrain volume in coarse zones instead. Then we model the fine scale pressure by an inversion avoiding compression penalty formulation. Finally, we also add a simple surface energy formulation to represent a stiff epidermis layer. Compared to other works that target volume preservation, our method achieves a complete volume preservation without locking, is stable at large time steps, and provides a method to simulate stiff epidermis layer and incompressible anatomical compartments. Even when locking may not be visually apparent, it can cause checkerboard patterns in the internal pressure distribution. When a low Poisson's ratio is used instead, it causes a visible volume loss, especially on the sides. By constraining the volumes in zones instead, one is able to completely preserve the volume of the mesh without any locking. Local compression penalty also allows a smooth but realistic pressure distribution. Additionally, adding the epidermis model produces an organic-looking surface deformation. Compare these results side by side. Our method results in a locking-free, volume-preserving, and an organic deformation. Adding a simple epidermis energy term regularizes the surface which results in a more organic-looking surface deformation. See how our method rounds out the sharp corners in the result. Our method is also much more stable with large time steps compared to other volume preservation methods, which either result in oscillations or divergence. Our method works well with contact. It can simulate a realistic squash and stretch effect while preserving volume completely without becoming unrealistically flat. Our method especially shines when using coarser meshes. Using a coarse mesh, locking is aggravated, which causes the simulation to fail. Our method succeeds in preserving the volume while being also consistent throughout different mesh resolutions. In this example of an armadillo squished between three cylinders, even with such a high Poisson's ratio, the body of the armadillo loses a significant volume. Our method scales well to even such large-scale problems, preserving the volume of the armadillo's body completely. Compare the results side by side. Notice the difference in the squashed area of the armadillo's body. Thank you for watching our presentation. We also thank NSERC, the Canada Research Chairs Program, and Vital Mechanics Research for supporting this work. And we also thank Ye Fan for his early help 
on this making this world possible.